Welcome to Health Today. I'm your host, Sonia Jones, and today I'm here with Dr. John Wapham. Dr. Wapham is a neurointerventional surgeon with HSHS Medical Group. Dr. Wapham, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Good to, good to be here. Dr. Wapham, can you tell me a little bit about your background? Where did you grow up? Where did you go to med school? All that fun stuff. So I was born right here in Centralia, Illinois, of all places, uh, in the early 70s, and uh, have a parents and uh, family that are in the auto industry and moved early on to Detroit area where I grew up and spent a lot of my formative years and, and trained. Uh, lived part of my life in the downtown Chicago area in uh, part of my career and have lived most of my life in the Midwest here, but I'm, I'm from uh, Centralia originally. Great. Where did you go to medical school? Where did you receive your training? Uh, I trained in Detroit at uh, the Detroit Medical Center, Wayne State University School of Medicine. I did undergraduate work at uh, University of Notre Dame in Indiana and uh, South Bend, Indiana, of course, and uh, back uh, to Michigan for residency and internship and uh, neurology training and fellowship training in stroke and neurocritical care and endovascular surgery in Michigan and at Michigan State. So neurointerventional surgeon. Tell me what that is. Would you explain that to us? So the field of neurointerventional surgery uh, in, uh, is described by catheter-based surgery with uh, non-invasive equipment that all is done intravascularly through either the wrist or the leg, vessel in the leg or on occasion directly in the neck that work on vessels and blood vessel, vessel problems in the brain and neck and spine in adults and children. And so neurointerventional surgery um, has really evolved over the last 20 years to uh, started out largely with aneurysm work where people would look for better ways to treat ruptured intracranial aneurysms uh, than traditional open craniotomy. And it's evolved into a, a myriad of different subdisciplines within neurointerventional surgery, including stroke, which is a huge chunk of what we do today, acute large vessel stroke salvage, as well as AVM embolization, tumor embolization, and a host of other uh, fistulas and traumatic situations in the head, neck, and spine. What is a day in the life for Dr. Wapham here in the clinic? What, um, what do you typically do Monday through Friday in a typical day? There are three of us here that are uh, in combination trained in stroke neurology, uh, neurocritical care, and neurointerventional surgery, and we rotate on a schedule during the course of the month where one of us is always on duty for surgery and another is on duty for clinical TIA and stroke concerns on a daily basis, as well as managing a very busy inpatient service here. Um, and uh, that service extends to our partner hospitals all over central Illinois. Um, day in the life here, uh, from a surgical perspective, it can consist of nearly constant work in a cath lab if it's a busy week and emergent people are flying in from all over our regions in central Illinois uh, to outpatient clinical assessment of people with complex vascular lesions that need uh, good multidisciplinary assessment and, and surgeries planned. Well, Dr. Wapham, this is fascinating. Thank you so much for sharing your heart with us and for sharing all of your knowledge. Um, it's been great to have you on Health Today. Thanks very much. We look forward to seeing you. Thanks for joining us with Health Today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Health Today. Be sure to stay up to date on future episodes by clicking the subscribe button.